Guys, hey, I want to talk right quick about the situation with 50 Cent and his son. I was watching Carcino for Life uh, earlier this morning, and he made a video um, talking about the relationship that 50 Cent and his son had. Um, excuse me, it's quite disheartening. Um, so anyway, the scenario goes like this. 50 Cent was with his son's baby mother before he got popping. He got popping and he went to the baby mother and was like, hey, look, this is the situation. Uh, I'm going to be with you. We're going to be together, but there going to be some new rules. I'm going to want to go over there sometimes, over there. And, um, um, you know, she was like, nah, you can get on about your business. And on top of that, you're going to pay me. Okay, you're going to pay me, yeah, and you're going to take care of your son. And um, what ended up happening was she ended up getting greedy and felt that she was entitled to uh, much more because she was his baby mother before the fame, and she felt like he had, he should have a loyalty to her. And um, she did not play that well. She did not play it well when all she had to do was just sit back, chill, relax, and just be quiet. Ladies. Um, I can't tell you uh, the key to solving all problems is just look at them and just be quiet. I ain't say don't do nothing to them now. I just say be quiet. Just know timing and just know that uh, sometimes you hurt yourself by um, talking and, you know, barking. Sometimes you hurt yourself. You got to be strategic sometimes with these men, especially with a man like 50 Cent with a, with a huge ego and um, that is as emotional and sensitive as him as he is. Um, at any rate, um, so what ended up happening was because he's seen, you know, his baby mother's character, um, in regards to her, you know, not being happy with the funds that she was receiving because she felt like, oh, you living, you know, life like it's golden, but I'm over here, but I'm over here, you know, me and your son over here living average, which is not the case. I refuse to believe that 50 Cent is the cancer. He is the nurturer of the Zodiac. I believe he got that little baby, the oldest one. And then I think he just found out about one that's like in between them. Like, you know, it's like they all three look like him. He got a red one, a chocolate one, and a, a butter pecan one. They all just look like, you know, 50 Cent, but just in different complexions. And, um... At any rate, um, the problem, the reason why I'm making this video is because one, um, like I said, I seen Carcino's video, uh, shout out to Carcino, you got 74,000 subbies, I don't know how and why, you know, you subbed to me, you know, I don't know how you even got to me, but thank goodness you're here, but, um, or you got here cause, you know, maybe you can give me a shout out one day, but you know, I don't know if you even work like that, but I was just trying it. Okay, so um, what I think the issue is or the concern, the big concern is to me is that, ladies, are you putting these men on child support because you're, you're, you're mad or because you're doing out of spite? Um, the, the mad scenario, I mean, in, okay, you, you know, he's already on child support. He's, there's no problems with it. You know, you live in your life. He's living his life. But then you find out that his new girlfriend have a baby. is having a baby. So what you do is you hurry up and run down to the court to get an increase. You know, that's spite. You know, you're doing it because you try to make sure that your baby get more than the next baby. That's spite. Um, you, you, um, uh, uh, you, you, you know, whatever, whatever reason y'all break up, you find out that he was cheating on you the entire time. And, uh, what you do is, but, but he took care of you while y'all was together. But what you do is just to be mean, you know, and evil and, oh, and that Negro's going to pay for all my hurt, you know, basically do the 50 cent baby mother thing. And, you know, you run to the courts, but he haven't shown you anything to say, Hey, I'm not going to take care of my child, you know? And I'm telling you, baby mothers, if you're doing it out of spite and not because, you know, out of, you know, he is taking care of his child, he's supposed to, you know, I, I need help, sorry guys, I need help with taking care of this child, you know, I, if you're not doing it because you need help and you're doing it for the well-being of the child and you're doing it specifically because you old mad because you see your child and him and his baby mother walking down the street at King's Dominion having them old good time and you sitting in the house and you done bond bond yourself to death 
Um, if you're doing it because you lonely and you mad because you by yourself when in actuality, if you just took more time to focus on you instead of focusing on what him and his new girlfriend doing, you probably would get your old man because guess what? If you got a man, believe me, you will be calling him up. Uh, um, Harry, Harry, yeah, come get your baby this weekend. I need you to come get this Negro. I got a date. Come get him. It wouldn't even be a situation. It wouldn't be no anger. So baby mothers, when you, when you have that anger in your heart, stop focusing on the dude and what he has done to you and, and you know, the new baby mother and or the new baby and things like that. Focus on you. How can I get me together? Let me get me together. That's all I got to say to you guys, you know. I'm not talking about, you know, the situations where the baby father ain't took care of nothing. You can't find him. He ain't paid child support in years. Or or I'm not talking about them DDMFs. I'm talking specifically about you baby mothers that put these men on child support out of pure D spite. Okay, because I mean, and then another thing about you, baby mothers, and I'm not talking about you all. I'm talking specifically about the baby mothers that you talking negatively to the child about his dad, especially a son. These especially talking to your son about his dad and how messed up he is, because believe me, the reason why that oldest son acts like that towards his dad is because his mom has groomed him to be that way. And that's not right. You know, and I'm so sure that if, uh, you know, the son was groomed properly and if the baby mother taught the son, hey, look, your father's a very rich man and you coming up on 18 years old, baby. And whatever your father gives you at this point on is a gift because he's not obligated to give you nothing. You need to talk to him, acknowledge him and who he is and all that he has done for you. You need to play your cards right. You need to respect that man. You need to be the best child that you can be to him. Or the best, most loyal child that you can be to him. Because, you know, with 50 Cent, he oh, he's just so emotional. He just is. Poor thing. At any rate, guys, you know, I hope I didn't insult anyone, you know, and if I did insult you, I hope, you know, me being a woman, you know, because my mom raised me without child support. I understand your plight. What I do not understand, what I do not get is when you taking this man to child support. Oh, and another thing I don't get, how in the heck can you ladies even feel comfortable with knowing that your baby father is messing with old Kiki and you know don't nobody want Kiki but he's messing with Kiki because he knows that Kiki is the only one that's going to let him stay in his house for free but you just then bought you a new Benz you know like Kiki's the only woman around the way like he don't like Kiki he don't want to be with Kiki but he got to chill with Kiki because Kiki's the one that's going to let him live there for free and eat for free and basically all he got to do is just you know be that figure to her and her kids whatever like basically he's selling his soul like how are you okay with that but you just bought yourself a new brand new car and you know he been driving around that same ford explorer now i ain't talking about the man that got five kids and living with kiki you know he should be broken you got five kids you live with kiki when he got one or two come on you know, come on, ladies, you know, come on. Anyway, lies, tell me what you think. Give me a thumbs up. You know, I know I didn't piss you off. I'm sorry, ladies. I'm sorry. I'm just being honest with you. The same people you meet on the way up are the same people you meet on the way down. YouTubers, let's be good to each other.